Hey ladies, it's Tanner. Welcome to another video. So as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are going to be doing a Chipotle mukbang. So I'm not alone, as you can see. I'm mm -hmm. with Miles Flavel. This hey. is Miles. He's an Australian. Found him outside, so I was like, let's do a mukbang. And he's like, okay. Or he's like, good eye, mate. Another shrimp on the ball bay. We don't say that. And we're also filming in front of a live studio audience, so. That's <laughs> Allie. Links below. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's get our food out and show the people what we got. Mm. Got us some chips. We love Man. chip moment. Quick central. Got some of the uh, the queso. So Ooh. try that out. We love yeah. trying queso. Hashtag not, not vegan. Speak for yourself. You're oh, not. wait, no, queso's not. And yeah, okay. You got not cheese vegan. on your... I did. On your bowl. It's fine. You're not vegan. Right? I don't know what vegan is anymore. Me neither. <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. I feel like the yeah. vegan changes every week. So, you know, I can't keep up. So, if you don't do this to open your chips, you're wrong. So, okay. I don't anyway. want to be wrong, but, like, I yeah. wouldn't have opened it that way. I would, because then you don't, gotta, you don't gotta dig as far in the bag. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like folding the chip packet up. Miles has never done a mukbang before. No, also, this is my friend Miles. We met like a year and a half ago. Yeah, about a year ish, and a half. maybe two. I don't really know. Um, we have filmed a video before. I will link that video below or in the eye over here. Probably not. I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. I filmed a video with him last year, I think, um, where I definitely didn't swear at him just a whole bunch. <laughs> um, Go watch the video. Yeah. Link below. Miles does not have Chipotle in Australia at all. Yeah, no. no There's we, none we anywhere. Don't. Do you I, guys have anything like Chipotle? No Zamperos. It's not the same. Ew. It sounds terrible. Anyway, so let's let's dig in. We both got bowls. We got guac. We have the queso. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to eat and talk about literally whatever we want because this is my channel and we do whatever we want as long as it's G-rated. G oh, and we also got our own silverware and our own straws that mm -hmm. are metal because save the fish <laughs> except we got plastic cups and <laughs> i was just thinking that like small steps okay yeah one step at a time let's see yeah we can do this yep so anyway so you're from the great land australia where are you from and i'm going to be asking questions while your food is while it's place. like right in yeah. my mouth uh-huh okay so i'm from perth which is over in the west coast of australia mm -hmm. um where we have really like pleasant weather all the time um and some of the best beaches in the world like mm -hmm. humble brag um and i mean as you said we don't have chipotle because for whatever reason like we have this thing in australia where we actively choose to only adopt like the worst international franchises it's like we've got like McDonald's and stuff like that, which is kind of trashy. Coming from the place that has the first future McDonald's, don't drag us. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I hate Maccas. Maccas? What's that? What's a Macker? No, Maccas. M A C C A S. What is that? Maccas? Hmm. M A. What's that? Is that a big Mac? Okay, so I guess you guys would call it Mickey D's. Mm. Because that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. But it's not what it's called. Mm -hmm. it's... Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. But yeah, so like, you know, we've got like things like that. We've got KFC, which is a odd franchise to have. Mm -mm. I don't support her. I've had KFC in probably like ten years. Yeah, you're not missing out on much. Mm -mm. Every now and then. Like, I'll go through a period of having, like, KFC cravings, and I'll go and have some, and then immediately regret it. Wait, aren't you, but you're a vegetarian. Let's <laughs> not speak about that. Um, <laughs> so, I'm a bad vegetarian, guys. I, um, like, I am primarily vegetarian, mm -hmm. but, well, I've been in the States, so I think I've eaten maybe, like, seven or eight meals that have been almost entirely meat. And the other night I had that wrap that was like... Mm. Oh, like, hallelujah, that looks so good. It was it like, was, what was it? 
It was barbecue, uh, chicken, um, I think it was bacon in there, and it, like mac and cheese. Mm. And it was like just in a, you know, like wrapped in a tortilla. It and looked really good. It was, it was something else. It could have been hotter though. It was a little bit cold on the inside. Mm. But, you know, I was, I was drag them. them. Mm. No, no. That was good though. I'd never been there, so we went to Jake's. It's some local, local like bar pub thing. I don't know. Here's a hack: if you get a bowl, I feel like you get more food when you get a bowl, and then you oh, get yeah. your tortilla on the side, and then you can make your own little burritos. So I like to take the burrito or the tortilla and get like a scoop of my insides, and then just eat it. Hmm. Amazing. Okay, let's try the queso. Yeah. Go I got this is. once. Your camera just shut off. Yeah, it does that. It, will it turn back on? Well, we need to fix it. Okay. It's fine. We got, like... Okay, I so I've right. had this when it first came out. It was gross. Yeah. Miles, have you ever had it? I can't say that I have. Okay, well, let's see how nasty it is. It's not as grainy as I used to think it was, or mm -hmm. it used to be, but I'd still go for some Velveeta any day. It tastes like, um, like bad mac and cheese sauce. Yeah. Kind of like the instant stuff, like if you were to get like mm -hmm. just an instant mac and cheese and yeah, it basically just tastes like that. I hate instant mac and cheese, like Kraft mac and cheese, do you guys have that? Yeah. It's so bad. Easy mac. Mm -hmm. Troy Sivan is from Perth, so did you go to school with him? Certainly. Like, definitely went to school with Troy. Mmm. Right here, get that promo. Mm-hmm. Mm. His new album Troy comes out, out in August. Yeah. Troy, give us a little personal, uh, what do you call it? Concert? <laughs> mm. Like, come serenade us? No. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, we need to get a thumbnail. Okay. Get, like, a big bite. Are you ready? And, like, hold your bowl up. Wait, give me my bag. <laughs> Hold my bowl up, like, in a way that I haven't been eating it. Like, I'll just, like, put Chipotle on it. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Okay. Oh, I dropped it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, Tanner, have you done a mukbang before? Mm-hmm. I've gotten so many mukbangs. Not really that many, but... I like to do them because it gives me an excuse to, like, eat a lot of food. You know? I kind of yeah. feel like Trisha Paytas. Mm. Mm. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Miles. You can have some guac. Mm. Um. Let's yeah. talk about Trisha Paytas and Jason. What's his last name? Yeah. Irrelevant. Um. I mean, yeah. That, you're not wrong. I mean, okay. So let's Trisha and Jason. They broke up. They didn't break up. I don't believe that. Their views were both down. Let's make 10 videos. They each get a million views. That's 10 million views. Hello? Like, that's a lot. Mm. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's business. It's like, you know, let's stay relevant. I think, anyway. So you're thinking it's a uh, bit of a, it's a, a sham... It's like, yeah, it's not real. It's like a business deal. Okay, so if you haven't seen this picture, I'll insert it right here. Also, follow me on Twitter because that's where I posted it. So my friend Allie, she's sitting right here. She's my manager. Don't ask her what she's managed because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, so our friend Paige, you guys know Paigey. She is like in this class, and her teacher is probably gonna watch this and find out. <laughs> but my fantasy was having a, a mukbang with Trisha, and so they photoshopped me in. It looks pretty real. It looks good. Um, so yeah, you're my Trisha today. Mm. Mm. Is Freely still a thing? Freely. Freely the banana girl. You should run over and check on her. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys are neighbors.
Yeah. No, I think she moved out of the suburb a couple of weeks ago. Oh my gosh. You know Portia de Rossi? Oh yeah. Is that how you say her name? She's not Australian. Oh, uh, she is. Uh-uh. Isn't she? Yeah. Ellen's wife. Yeah, she, she's from, um... She's from Australia? Yeah! That's why Ellen took, like, a whole show of, of like, people to Australia. Yeah. Why doesn't she sound Australian? Well, Anne probably because she was Dory and finding Nemo. I'm so full. But I can't stop eating. And also, I keep dipping my... I keep eating this cheese that I don't really like. We've got to eat it, though. It's, I know. It's there. God save the queen. Do you guys say that? Is that... Wait, is your national anthem the same? No, no. We've got, um... We've got an entirely can different you, national anthem. Can you sing it? So, no. why are you still under the queen? If you have your own government, your own national anthem, your own money. Because we're still a British colony. Are you guys going to ever break away? Um, there is talk around that. Like, there's always, uh, every few years, people talking about, like, oh, we should, um, yeah, we should become our own, like, I think it's, like, Federation or something like we should just split off, but there's no need to. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like the Queen does anything over us, and it, it works out nice because, like, we get the like because we're under the I'm oh, sorry, because we're like part of the Commonwealth, we get to participate in the Commonwealth Games, mm -hmm. which are like the Olympics, but but because they don't include certain countries. Wait, Australia is but and is like the best country in it. <laughs> Wait, so Australia isn't it in the Olympics? No, we're in the Olympics, but we're also in the Commonwealth Games. So oh. they made their they suck in the Olympics, so they made their own thing, so they'd be good. Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. America is good in the Olympics, right? Okay. Yeah, you guys are decent. I don't watch them really. Sometimes. I'm eating way too slow. I ate like too fast. To... I'm so full. Mm. No, but I want you to say your national anthem. I don't want to sing the national anthem. I'll look it up and I'll sing it with you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why? Not, Am I not allowed to? No, no, you can totally sing it. Is, Is that legal? Is it? Do you guys call it the Australian national anthem? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Is Otherwise, it's also called Advex Australia Fair. Lyrics. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know how it goes. I've never heard of it. So, can you, like, give me a beat? Like, whatever the beat is? Uh, now bring the beat in! Anything for you, Beyonce. Wait, do you cross your heart? Um, can you back back a sec? Is that not... Does that go straight into it? You don't put your hand over your heart? No, oh, that's a weird thing. You guys are weird. <laughs> yeah, no. 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 Like, what is wrong with you? Like, no. You just gotta like sing it. You just stand there. You just stand there and sing. I never put my hand over my heart during the national anthem. Oh, I do. That's so good. Oh, um, here we go. We're um, going. I've got pins and needles. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Shh. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free, we've golden soil and wealth for toil, our home oh, is good by sea, our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty, rich and great. God bless Australia Fair. There's a second verse no one knows. Anyway. You guys are whispering like I can edit this. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with your national anthem? Do no one can know, sing it. Okay. No one knows how to sing it because it's too hard. Oh, okay. Okay. So it was written by a dude on a mm. boat watching people bomb us because we were like, we don't want to be part of your stupid English country anymore because your king is mean and gross and we don't like being taxed without being like over there to like talk about it, right? 
Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen Alexander Hamilton, the musical? No. I wanted to go see it, but, like, that was an expensive one in New York. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of money. It'll cost, like, half your life. <laughs> um, great, great thing, though. Mm-hmm. And, anyway, so, they're like, um, screw you. We don't want to, you can't take our money if we don't have any say in it. So, there was this whole thing where they, bun- they like, dumped a bunch of their tea in the harbor. And then... They That's would- the Boston Tea Party, right? Yes! History! Way to go, Queen! Mm-hmm. Um, and then they were like, we're just gonna fight you until we are free. And then we did. We became our own country and then we basically said, screw you, we're not gonna use any of your measuring systems. We're not gonna use your money. We're not even gonna talk like you anymore. We're gonna mm-hmm. have our own accent. Alright, you guys, so we are super full from all this Chipotle. God mm-hmm. bless America and God save the Queen. We're gonna end this video here. You guys go check out Miles' video that we did over on his channel. It's kind of like a behind the scenes. Go watch it, go subscribe, support a small YouTuber. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And hit that little bell icon as well because that's a thing nowadays. And yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, if you want to see our content, always hit that bell. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Also follow Miles on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to support <laughs> these legs over here, she's on Instagram too. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh.